Hello here, this is Ilnook with another video review. Today is going to be a um, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien review. And as you can probably see, it's going to be of Armadillo. And I apologize of how I couldn't do a unboxing video. Because um, my camera was actually dead. And I just couldn't wait like 2-3 hours for it to charge. And not open open it, so I just opened it. And I'll, I'll eventually make it up to you guys by doing something. I don't know what yet, but, um, yeah. So, um, I'll just give you a quick detail of the box. I, I reclosed it. I didn't tape the back, but I just did the flaps things. So here it is. Here's the back of the box. So you get the picture of pretty much the whole line up to date. And if you think it's tilted, trust me, it's not. It's just the... It's not the camera angle, it's nothing. It's just the actual box is tilted. I don't know why. But as you can see, there's ult there's water hazard, nanomech, ultimate swamp fire, um, wrath, ultimate big chill, and load star roll in the first wave, or the first series. The second series is ultimate amongusaur and armadillo, and we're gonna get some more in soon. And uh, we'll be unboxing, I may, get a Benton Ultimatrix soon. I don't know when though. Maybe for Christmas. At least. Um, but um, so I'm going to show you the disc. See the disc? So I can, I'm sorry. I don't have, I, like I said, I don't have the Ultimatrix so I can't show you the sound. But it kind of ruined it if I showed you it because I, I just show it all on one video anyway. So here's the disc. Oh, you can't see it, but his arms opens and closes and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, it's clear. So, put that down. And here's the actual toy. So, here is Ultimate Swamp Fire. I mean, Ultimate e um, blah, 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 Armadillo. Um... Here, here he is. He's a really nice figure. He's pretty much, his base is pretty much all his color scheme is yellow and black. Mostly yellow. And uh, and some green for the eyes and the Omnitrix symbol. And then gray for the, the that's surrounding the Omnitrix symbol. And uh, so yeah. He's a very bulky toy. He's not the tallest in the line, which I didn't expect him. Which, uh, I expected him to be the tallest in the whole line, but he's not. I don't know why. But, uh, he definitely is the bulkiest. Because he is, but, in, but he is very well made. And, uh, the plastic is really high quality, and that's what I really like about it. So, here, let me get my finger out of the way. So, here's another picture. There's the front view. He's got really nice... You know, oh, wait. Here's the back view. As you can see, he has a tail, which in the pictures before I even saw Armadillo in the TV show, and the pictures for like when he was gray back in February, I didn't even know he had a tail because I didn't see it. But um, I didn't see a tail, but because in the, all in all the pictures, it, hit, it was like this, so you couldn't you didn't know if he had a tail or not. But um, kind of found out that Armadillo really sounds like Armadillo. Or armadillo, whatever they're called, something like that. So, um, his powers. What I thought is that um, I think I remember. It's been a long time. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's been a long time since I've seen the series. But he would like vibrate. He would like go. I think he would vibrate or something like that, and he go, and he could go into the ground. Um, they thought that he was dead. Oh, um, this is spoilers. If you haven't seen the one with armadillo in it, then. You fast forward it, but um, at the end, uh, yeah, they thought he was dead, but it turns out he's not because he took like a bomb for, yeah, for well, test. I've got a Lego bomb. I've got pretty much a Lego bomb here, and so there was like a bomb or something like that. So he, so he grabbed it or something. And he went like deep under the earth, it blew up, and it's probably the the saddest Benton episode. He didn't die, but it was just really sad. Because Gregor took him anyways, so, yeah. Um, so this is overall very nice figure. Um, here's the back again. As you can see, but um, I'm just going to show you the articulation. 
First of all, he has 360 in his out in his uh, shoulders. His head does not move. No rotation or anything in his head. Although his ears, his ears don't move, but it feels like they wiggle. I don't know. To me, sometimes it feels like they wiggle and sometimes they don't. Um, I don't know. They don't wiggle though. They are like really hard in, but sometimes it feels like they wiggle, but they don't. And um, he has nice, oh, he has elbow joints, the exact same as Ultimate Swamp Fire. Um, so it doesn't actually bend, he, can't, he twists. His tail can move 360 degrees. And his legs um, can move about up that about that far up, and they can bend not at really the knee, but more like the um, I don't know, like the muscle. Where he kind of moves at the muscle. It's a very weird articulation. See, and um, yeah. It's pretty much all of his articulation, so it's fairly nice articulation. It's kind of hard for him to stand up, especially on carpet, because his feet are a lot smaller than his body frame. But with his tail, but sometimes if you get, if you get his feet in like the perfect position, he will stand up. So yeah. So it's um. Um, before I move on to the end of it, I'm going to show you the details. It's not a lot of details, as in, in the show. He wasn't really a detailed type of alien. And all it was was like a yellow suit. Pretty nice folding, weird, kind of foldy detail right there. Um, the only pretty much detail he had was like this kind of screw type of things in his arms and in his like torso. What it me as these little gray bar looking things in his arm like right there see and he also had that in his torso but I don't know if you'll see that yeah you, you can't see that yeah it's pretty hard to see and um, underneath his feet I thought it was kind of weird it's left and right he has L and R on his left and right foot, but when you kind of flip them around to do it like that, they're upside down. So they're pretty much supposed to do L and R only when he's upside down. So I thought that was kind of weird, but um, yeah. He's a very he's a very nice toy. He is my he was my uh, he is my fa all time favorite alien in Ultimate Alien. Um, I just liked him because, um, I don't know what, that Ben hasn't transformed into Armadillo yet, but I liked him when he was just normal alien. He wasn't Ben turning into him. He was just an alien. He was probably, but he, and he's probably my favorite looking one. And some people really like Wrath. I don't know why they like Wrath. Wrath is probably one of my fourth, fifth favorites. The reason why is because he... He's got this bad attitude, which is okay, and he's got the funny, funny sayings like, um, like, here, sorry, I don't want you seeing blank space, but he's kind of weird. I don't have him yet, but he just really looks like Tony the Tiger, you know, they're great. Very weird. Very, very weird. So that's why I didn't really like Wrath. Also, um, I don't really want to get his toy because I don't really want to get his toy because, or it'd be like the last one I get because the fact that you know he hit Lodestar and Wrath's disc do not work on the Ultimatrix, and I have Lodestar sadly, so not only sadly, it's a great toy, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, we have been talking most of it, but it's a great toy. I would definitely get it. And if you can find them, you can probably find them. I've only found about two. One at one. There was a, or three. Two of them were at t Target. One of them was at um, Walmart. But um, everywhere else, nothing. And I haven't looked at Toys R Us yet. So, yeah, this has been Ill Nook with another video, with another video review. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and goodbye.